Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back for our NHL 16 Be a Pro series following Peter Forsberg and the Colorado Avalanche. So, last time we got through two more preseason games between the Minnesota Wild and the St. Louis Blues. We beat the Wild 4 to 2, Forsberg getting a plus one in that game, and then we played the St. Louis Blues, and Forsberg got his first NHL preseason goal after returning from retirement, obviously, and hopefully we'll get done the preseason in this game. Now, a lot of people were saying uh, the reason I can't choose number 21 is because the retired numbers are off, so I'm going to check if I can turn them off or not, if it actually is a thing I could turn off. So let's see. Visual settings. Uh, it might be in gameplay settings. Uh, actually, you know, where, you know where it might be? I have to go double check on that. Actually, it might be in like the uh, like the view lines area, maybe even the stats, or maybe it's in edit player. It might be in edit player. Hold on, edit player. Let's see. Uh, edit general info. Preferred jersey number is twenty one, so we can't change that. Uh, yeah, like I said, our number is twenty one. I need to see if I can turn retired numbers off, or even if that's a thing you can do in this game. I'm not even sure. I wonder if they take I wonder if they took that out or not. Activity feed, view lines, can't really do that. Stat central. Now the only place it would be is in safe settings, right? Game style difficulty. Yeah, it's not in there. Like I said, visual settings. It's not gonna be anywhere here. Gameplay settings, I mean, unless it's in like unless it's in like general settings. General. Now, this is for like in-game appearance and stuff like that. Uh, no, apparently not. All right, so I can't change, I can't turn the retired numbers off because apparently that's not even a thing I could do in this game. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to be stuck with whatever number we're gonna be locked into. So without further ado, let's get into our preseason game here. Uh, keep it a little bit of this. Given when your chances is very unlikely. What? Your chances of making the Colorado Avalanche roster is very unlikely. Wow, okay. So it looks like they might send Forsberg down. So we got to really play our asses off here in these next couple games. So let's simulate. All right, we need to play on our asses now, apparently. So this management doesn't seem to like us. All right, so here we go. First period against Nashville. Uh, one to nothing. Blake Como gets one on Pecorene. Second period, uh, two, to, two to two. So James Neal and Craig Smith and then Carl, uh, Carl Soderberg gets one on Pecorine. All right, so it's a 2-2 game in Colorado against Nashville. Apparently, our likelihood of making the roster is very unlikely. Let's see if we can change that. All right, guys, so here we are in our fourth, I think, yeah, our fourth preseason game here up against the Nashville Predators. It's a 2-2 tie. Apparently, our GM is saying, Joe, you know, Joe Sackick is saying our odds of making the Colorado Avalanche are not, are very unlikely at the point, so we really have to play our asses off here in this game to change management's mind so I might be going all out here for like some goal scoring in this game who knows and that's not a really good start there to turn the puck over at all all right up oh, okay so I got Everberg back on my line again which is nice to see uh, let's see if we can get Ellis there nope not yet all right Smith I don't want a line change yet Bortolo uh, okay so I have Bortolo and Everberg again Smith uh, okay there you go nice save there Varley's not in that this game, so that is a little bit different this game. But still, they have Pekka Rene in that. All right, Everberg over to Bordalo. Does he want a line change? Yes, he does. Get off. Good. And send to the next shift. Don't worry, we have plenty of time here to get something rolling. 15.57 left in the first. Got plenty of time to make something happen here. Uh, okay. Oh, we got Calvin Picard in that. Okay. So we got Calvin Picard in net. That's good. All right, let's see if we can get a face-off win here. There we go. All right, Eric Johnson, what are you doing with it? Thank you, Picard. Picks it up for Forsberg. Get that up to Everberg. Everberg, drop pass. Up oh, and give and go really quickly, and he dumps it around. Jones will dump it all the way around. As that puck is going to stay inside for Bergenheim. And once again, we make a pass. Does he want a line change? Not yet. All right, Bortolo shields it. Bortolo, oh, he tried to feed Forsberg there. I, I saw his intention, but, you know, I'm kind of weird there since my stick is, it's, it's an offhand stick, so. Simulate to the next shift. 
uh, I don't like the fact that our odds of making the roster are very unlikely. You know, I want to make the Avs team, but if we have to get sent down to Lake Erie, you know, shit might have to happen. Uh, oh, okay, so there's Forsberg on the other team. That's Philippe Forsberg. There you go, nice pass. Uh, all right, I got James Neal on me. Fucking Neal. Fucking quick sell Neal. There you go. Get it out. All right, Tyson, let's go with it. There you go. Up to Everberg. We've seen what this guy can do before. He can snipe it. All right, Everberg. Uh, Forsberg has it. Back to the point. To Barry. Back to Forsberg. Take a shot. There you go. Deflection. Bortolo. Oh, my God. And he misses me. Well, he didn't miss me. He just missed the I just missed the shot. All right. Sends it around. Eric Johnson, I'm right there for you for support. There you go. Okay, I didn't want it, apparently. Uh, Bordelo, okay, they want a line change, fine. They want a line change, fine, so we got to C minus now. I guess they want us to take... We should probably lay down hits somewhere. All right, penalty kill. Since we are a power forward, they probably want us to lay uh, the hitting a bit more. So we'll try to go for some hits. And, oh, there's a big shot there from the point. All right, Colin Smith, there you go. Trying to shrug him off a little bit. Bouncing puck, there's Roman Yossi, a shot. Nice save there by Calvin Picard. And holds on, on to it. Oh, my God, is there another penalty? Oh, Jesus, man, 5 on 3 now. Okay, it's a 5 on 3. And, oh, big save there from Picard. Forsberg, get that out. There you go. They want a line change? No, they just want me to go forecheck a little bit. Alright, Forsberg, get back. There you go. Block off James Neal. Ah, uh, come on, Barry. Go chasing after that. It's just one guy. There he goes. Zadarov dumps it down. That could go for a line change. Thank you very much. That could go for a line change to simulate to the next shift. See if we're probably going to get some more penalty kill out there. Uh, yep, it's 5 on 4 again, so we're killing it off. Alright, so we killed off the 5 on 3. 5 on 4 now for another 57 seconds. There you go, another win there. And Nikita Zarov will dump it right off the back of Shea Weber's back. Roman Yossi, Bergenheim. Bergenheim over to Sissons. Watch the center. Back to Yossi. I uh, missed Weber on the 1 T. Smith, alright, let's get in there. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Get in there, Forsberg. Get in there. Shield that away, shield that away. There you go. Up to Como. Alright, Blake Como, what are you doing with it? Uh, he's going to take a shot himself. All right, Shea Weber. Over to Sissons, back to Weber. Back to Bergenheim. Bergenheim, you cut, you're a dead man. Oh, there you go. Oh, shit. Oh, good save, Calvin Picard. Good save there, bud. It's a very nice save for my mad freaking breath as well. So that might be it for me for the game. No, 538. Let's get me back out there again. Patrick Waz put me in there for a lot of shifts. All right, come on, we need a big face-off win here. There you go, big face-off win. Tyson Barry. What are you going to do with it? Drops it back down. Forsberry, got to pick that up. There you go. Gets it back over to Bortolo. Nice play. All right, Bortolo, what are you doing with it? And take a shot on that. Why not? Over the net, doesn't matter. Johnson, uh, I probably should cover for him. Bortolo. Out to Kling Everberg. Oh, man. Fors oh, my God. Seth Jones just took a little bit of a tumble right there. Yeah, you're losing the puck. Everything else is seeming like... Yeah, we just gotta make sure we don't get stick-lifted. Gotta make sure we do not get stick-lifted. That's what they're... Warning us of, but still... Another shift out there. Another shift out there, come on. Three something, three minutes still left here. There you go, nice play there by Forsberg to block off that shot from Smith. Oh, but we called for it. Oh, Picard, Picard. Save it. No, no, no. I poke-checked it right to them. God damn it. I was trying to swipe it out. Nashville takes the lead. Oh, my God. And there goes my... <laughs> there goes my chances of making the abs. Yeah, uh, 59 seconds still left. We got a chance. Goaltender's probably going to get pulled right now. All right. Goaltender's probably going to get pulled. All right, what are you doing with it, man? What are you doing with it? Barry, out in front. Uh, Bordalo. I don't know why Bordalo's out there. Or Abberg. Spencer Watson. Come on, Forsberg. Come on, Forsberg. Get in there. Oh, my God, he's so slow. Ellis uh, Salamaki, I think that is. Barry, over to Bordalo. Uh, nice stick lift there by Forsberg. 
All right, there goes the Tendi. Uh, Shea Weber, or that's actually Seth Jones. Ah, Mayana, I just lose it. Barry, get it back. All right, Street, you take it in. I'll follow. It's empty net out there. We're going to stay out there for the time. Pass in front. Oh, my God, such a shitty pass. That was such a shitty pass, man. Through a defender like that, they want the line change. No, man, I'm not going for a line change. Patrick Wilde, you're out. You're not uh, turnover, Ribeiro. Uh, that's going to be it. So we're going to lose that game 3-2. to two. It's my fault. I poke checked the puck away. A C plus in that game. Not good at all. Not good at all, and that's really going to diminish our chances of making the abs. I think we're going to go down to the freaking AHL. Forsberg is not having the greatest uh, preseason, man. He is not having the greatest preseason. Only one goal so far. Not even an assist. Well, he has one goal and one assist, but it's not looking good. Uh, Matt Duchesne is back to the lineup. Joey Hishin is back to the lineup. Yep, let's choose our training. Why not? All right, so we have 11 hours. Let's go for some offensive positioning. Uh, we're already doing face-off, so that's good. Um, let's work on our shot a bit. Sh sure, and then two hours doing what? Uh, sprints. Yeah, let's do two hours of sprints so we can upgrade our endurance and durability. Okay, so that's that. And, all right, so here we go. Game up against the Dallas Stars now. And our next preseason game. All right, first period, 2-1. to one. Uh, All right, there we go. We got a goal in the first period. Nice. We did get ourselves a goal. All right, so that might help ourselves out there. We got a goal. Second period, 2-1. Uh, to one. All right, so it's a 2-1 to one lead for the Avs going into the third period. We did score a goal already, and uh, hopefully that will help ourselves out. All right, guys, so here we are in our next preseason game up against the Dallas Stars. We got a 2-1 to one lead going into the third here. We have already scored one goal as the simulation did give Peter Forsberg a goal. As, uh, hopefully that will help out our stats here, but we got some 4-on-4 four four now for 45 seconds. Probably offsetting penalties or roughing minors or something along those lines. But let's see if we can get ourselves here against the Dallas Stars. As uh, Simeon Varlamov is back in between the pipes for us here. So let's go. Pierre Forsberg, he's not messing around this game. He really wants to show off here. Let's shield that away from Klingberg, I believe. All right. Uh, you know what? Just work the puck. Work the puck. Shot. Ooh. Love saved by Letton. Don't worry, Jerome. I see you there. I was trying to feed you. Uh, so we want slap shots and defensive recoveries. Okay. I don't know why they're giving us coaching tips there. I think we need to take slap shots. Maybe that's what that means. All right. Five and four power play for the Stars again. Another penalty kill coming up for us there. Off of a line change, Carl Lettinen dishes the puck over to Le uh, Klingberg, who almost runs the puck right into his own net. And Dallas Stars will get it back. Fiddler. Vernon Fiddler. And eat that. Nice little check there by Forsberg. Just to lay the body down. Eric Johnson, I'm going to situate myself right here in front of the net. And thank you. And dump it down. There you go. Kill off the final bits of that power play. And we are good to go. Up, uh, Cleesh. Up, uh, Cleesh, you should have got that, man. Okay, I guess I'm going to go for a line change now. Guess they just wanted me to finish off that penalty kill, and that was it. Fair enough, I guess. I got to figure out what those coaching like options mean. Maybe that's what, what I'm supposed to do. Like, if the defensive coaches tell me to like, play better defensively, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. All right, Kobo. And a low shot rebound. Ah, Carl is right there for it. Let's hopefully I get a face-off here. Thank you. I was going to say. I would like to get a face-off. And if we lose it again. Uh, Forsberg, I can't really get it. Got to get it off this uh, Jokapa guy. Whoever that is. All right, that's Jordy Ben over to Skeever. And nice little hit there by Forsberg. And Zach Redman a little bit. Playing with danger there. Once again, cliche. Over to Como. Como uh, tried to feed Cleesh in the center again, but once again, he's not there for it, really. All right, let's back check a little bit. Morin. All right, let's dig in there. We got three guys there. Three guys on the spot there. Oh, pff, that's going to be a penalty. Referees not moving. Come on. Oh, my God. I have a feeling I'm going to go to the AHL. I don't want to go there. 5 on 3 penalty kill. All right, I must be coming out of the box. Yeah, I'm probably coming out of the box here. What the heck? And, oh, I thought they scored. All right, so I'm out of the box. 
Uh, okay, some guy fell, and I'm li literally, like, dragging him down along with me. All right, Forsberg, go, 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 go. Patrick Eves? I don't think so. Okay, he did get it away. Nishushkin? Right, where's Nishushkin going? There you go. Nice block. Watch the pass. Forsberg, get that out. And up, Forsberg was really on the Chushkin there. Cleesh, hit me. Thank you. All right, Forsberg, he's around. He's around. Shot, he scores! Short side on Curry Lettinen, there it is. Short-handed goal there for Peter Forsberg. Just held it out to the one side, shot it high on Lettinen. Was shielding the defender off and he shot it high. Short side, Cleesh and Eric Johnson with the assist. There it goes. We got around Klingberg, I think. And then just shot it short side on Lettinen over the shoulder. And Forsberg, that's how he gets it done. So we're getting low stats for stick lifting and losing face offs for a team. Give me, give me a break, man. Give me a break. I just got ourselves a goal there, freaking Patrick Waugh. We're up by two now. So that's Forsberg's third goal of the preseason. Second one of this game, actually. So he has two goals in the game. Like, I have two, two of the goals, freaking coach. What do you want from me here? One more, and I got myself a damn hat trick. Like, what do you want? Uh, all right, Cleesh, go, 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 go. Send me, send me, send me. Okay. No, I was wide open on the wing. All right, where's Morin going? Oh, uh, in front. Forsberg cleans out. Oh, my God, I got hit. Damn it. Slid all the way back out to the point. And there you go. Forsberg blocks that off on Skeever. And big hit there into the corner. No call. And Redmond. Got to get rid of that. Where are you going with it? There you go. Nice pass up to me. Uh, I'll dump that in. Probably go for a line change, probably. Yep. Go for a line change. Now, see, the, the, he said a nice goal out there, but then, like, oh, you're getting stick lifted or stop doing that and stuff like that. I don't know, man. I was playing my game. We might actually try to get three games in here if this is the final. I don't know if this is the final preseason game or not. I think it might be. If it is, then we probably might get one more game in if it's not. But we will get a highlight package from Semyon Varlam up so far in this period, I guess, in this game. We don't need to watch that. We can skip ahead. It's so again, we get a shift out there. I get taken right off. And a minute 40 left. So if there's an empty net out there, when the time comes, we might have a chance to get ourselves a hat trick. A nice pass over to Cleesh. And Cleesh tries for a short side shot. Cleesh. Cleesh over to Forsberg. Slap shot. Ooh, got deflected. Como rebound by Cleesh up. Third try on the rebound. Uh, you know what? Back to Cleesh. Back to... That was a bad pass by Forsberg. I got hit there. Right, Forsberg get back. McKenzie. And bouncing puck. Forsberg does. Oh, my God. Terrible angle right there. Get rid of it. All right, Ranford has it. McKenzie... Get that! Oh my God, Forsberg, he's he's having he's having a problem trying to get this out. There you go, nice head on Raymond, I think, or Ranford, I guess you could say. Empty net. I'm going for it, boys. I'm going for the hat trick. Ah, fuck it. Cleesh can hit it. Oh my God, he missed. He wants to go for a line change. Well, I'm gonna get a four check here. I'm gonna four check. Nah, I'm not gonna get it. 40 seconds left. Gonna have to go for a line change here. Tried to get my hat trick, but rather go for the win. Rather go for the win and get the guaranteed empty net. Are we going to get the empty net or not? Or not? Uh, that'll be the end of the game. We did get an empty net goal, so 4-1. to one. And that will end the game for the Colorado Avalanche as we do beat the Dallas Stars 4-1. to one. Peter Forsberg with two goals in the game. So he did have himself a very good game, at least. Uh, we lost a lot of our points in that freaking category. Still C-, minus. I don't understand. Forsberg did get the second star with two goals. Nathan McKinnon got the other one. He probably got the... Um, McKinnon probably got the... No, McKinnon got the early one. That's right. So, if that was our last preseason game, you know, things don't look good for starting the year on the Avalanche. Uh, now, there is... I think this that this game against the Jets is the last preseason. Yep, so this game against the Winnipeg Jets is the very last preseason game. So, you know what? We'll fit this one in here as well. So, we're 3-1-1 one in one the preseason, which honestly is pretty good. And uh, let us play this last game here, the last preseason game against the Winnipeg Jets. All right, so here we go. First period, nothing, nothing. Second period, one to nothing. Matt Duchesne gets one, and we're up one to nothing over the Jets. All right, so we're in Winnipeg. Last chance to show this team and this organization if Forsberg belongs on the Avalanche. 
All right, guys, here we are in the final preseason game for the Colorado Avalanche and Peter Forsberg. We're taking on the Winnipeg Jets here. We already are up one to nothing on them. And this is honestly Forsberg's last freaking chance here to make sure that he does belong on this Colorado Avalanche roster. So we'll have to see here if uh, Forsberg can get it done here. So we'll have to see. Like I said, they said our chances of making it to our roster are very unlikely. But, you know, we did prove ourselves a cliche. Oh, my God. That was a wide open net there. And Truba's going to send there on the back over for cliche. And shot by Forsberg goes wide. Como back to Barry. Back to Forsberg. But he gets knocked by Peluso. But he gets it back. Cliche back and forth. And they score once again. Peter Forsberg will get an assist. Nice back and forth little move, puck movement there. From Forsberg to Cliche over to Como, and he sends a low shot on Pavlik, and that will go in. So Blake Como does get the goal there from Peter Forsberg. He's stickless on uh, Peluso, and then feeds it over to Cliche, who feeds it over to Como. Low shot past Andre Pavlik, and Peter Forsberg does get an assist, and the Abs will lead 2-1 to one in this game. So I don't know why our stats are so freaking low. I don't know why the like the team plays and stuff like that are like C minuses and stuff like that. You think we'd be playing uh, the way we should be playing, you know? It's pretty weird. All right, Cliche is gonna give it up to us. Uh, drop pass over to Cliche. It's fine. Oh my God, he got rocked. Holy shit, he got rocked. Oh my God, I hope he's okay. Jesus, man, he got rocked. Uh, Zarov, you need to get rid of that there, man. Come on, play smarter than that. All right. Zarov, get rid of it, man. Zarov, get rid of it. Thank you. There you go. Cleesh without a helmet, but he does have a breakaway. Cleesh. And, oh, Pavlik will make the save. Cleesh would have had a breakaway. He did have a breakaway there, but managed to make the save. So we got an assist in this game, which is good. I mean, we're putting up points. Uh, a lot of time wasted there. Ooh, the Winnipeg Jets do score within that time. So if you see a long, a long time to simulate there, uh, more than likely, a goal did happen. All right, Vinker. Vinker. All right, where is he going? There you go. Nice deflection by Peter Forsberg there in the slot to block that one off. All right, here's Cleish again. Cleish is going to dump it around the back. Uh, Peluso and working. Ah, my God, couldn't get it away from Truba. It's way too fast, man. All right, Armia. And he takes a shot on Varlama. That Armia guy's part of the... Uh, that Buffalo Sabres deal with uh, Kane and Myers. And Bogosian, obviously. All right, back down low. Cleesh. Como. Cleesh. Ah, come on, man. You got to try to feed me there. Up, oh, bouncing puck. Truba. I ah, couldn't get it. All right, that's probably a line change for me, I'm assuming. And we'll swap it up. Swap it up, and we will get going once again. All right, 649. A lot of time wasted there. A lot of time ran off the clock. Must have been like a power play for us. I think that's probably what it is. If it takes a long time, I, I don't think we're on the power play, but we're definitely on the penalty kill. All right, I'm waiting up here for a pass. Thank you. Cleesh go. Oh, my God. You can't handle that pass, man. Come on. All right, Cleesh, there you go. Wraps it around. Uh, we're all sides. Okay. At least we get offense. Let's get to stay out for a face-off at the very least. And we lose a face-off again. All right, Myers, he's going to send that over to Halschuk. Uh, loses the puck to Lowry. And Toby Emstrom will take it. Toby Emstrom tries to make some deeks there. Boschman over to me. Oh, bad pass there again. And Patan will take it. Patan out in front. Varley will hold on to that. Okay. Keep going here. Need to make something happen here. We already have an assist. Uh, not going to happen on the penalty kill, I'll tell you that much. They get a shorty last game, but we got to kill off this penalty. All right, Truba. Over to Lad. Back to Myers. Back to Lad again. Varley's, Varley's got some good lateral movement. Dumps it out over to Truba. Over to Myers. Over to Wheeler. And once again, wait and see where Blake Wheeler's going to enter the zone. Enstrom. Uh, can we get that out first? Uh, you know what? Barry, spring me. Okay, you're not going to spring me. You're just going to get sprung. I got to watch this guy in the back door. There it is. Varley, I'm not poke checking that. I'm going to let you grab it. I'd rather not poke check it and have it go and go for a goal the way it happened last time. That is not something I want to happen. All right, uh, 210, 5 and 4, still left. Should be the dying seconds, not four. Four seconds still left on the power play. 
Yeah, okay, we did win the faceoff that time, uh, but Zadarov loses the puck to Perot, Wheeler, and we swipe that away from Varley. And that one's going to go around the net, and they don't chase after it, though. 5-on-5 five five is here again, Forsberg, nice block. Uh, Matthew Perot sends it around the back of the net, over to Bufflin, misses the, his man. Oh, uh, man, the Winnipeg Jets have us stringed in here. They have us string, strung in. Lad with another shot down low. Got to keep. I gotta keep my hand on Perot, and that's a goal. Yep. Winnipeg Jets are just cycling the puck way too good there. Blake Wheeler does get the goal with a minute 40 left. Smoke comes out as the Jets tie this game up at 140. Blake Wheeler from Matthew Perot and Andrew Ladd. So looks like they have their like full freaking team in there. Do the Jets like they're kind of full roster up there? So we're gonna go to overtime. Yes, we are gonna go to overtime against the Winnipeg Jets. In our final preseason game here. So if we want to make the make this team like us here, we might as well try to get a goal here. Three on three overtime. Three twenty left to go. Three or Forsberg is going to get himself, himself a shift in there. Okay, uh, okay, I got the pass right away. Uh, we're around. We're around. Let's wait for it. Go walk right in front. Ah, uh, short, low shot, man. His defenders don't want to freaking uh, cover me. I'm perfectly fine with just walking out, and they're going to take me right off right away. Go in there, take a shot, and get taken off. Minute 29 still left. Going to get a face off here. Got to win this back to our defender. And we do. Hold in. Blocked by Enstrom, though, with his back. All right, we got to get back there. Come on, Forsberg. Turn on the Jets. Got to get there and back check. He got in. Big save there by Roller Lamov. Back to the point to Truba. Big save. Forsberg's got a breakaway. He's got a breakaway here. Five on five. And oh, he takes the shot, but freaking. Oh my god, Andre Pavlik does make the save. We should have went for the back end there. We went for the back end forehand. But he does manage to make the save. And oh, tries for a cross crease there. Boschman. Alright, Boschman's gonna send Forsberg out. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's one on one. And float over, he gets through. Back in forehand, and oh my god, freaking Andre Pavlik might have got a stick on that again. And now we're going to have to go for a change. Oh man, two breakaway attempts there for Peter Forsberg, and he couldn't finish the job. He's probably going to get one more chance here in the shootout, and that's where we're going to go to another shootout here in preseason with the Avalanche and the Winnipeg Jets. So here we go. Going to a shootout. Matthew Shane probably taking the first shot again. Yes, he is. And we get to watch some of this more stellar shootouts from the computers as Duchesne gets stopped by Andre Pavlik. All right, here's Blake Wheeler. And he rips one low, but Simeon Varlamov does make the save. And I believe this is Peter Forsberg's time to take a shot. Yes, it is. All right, Forsberg, what do you got here? And, oh, my God, what kind of move is that? Did you see that? Like, look at this. Look at that. Oh my god, that was like through the legs. Jesus, I didn't know Forsberg had that in him. That was like a Datsuk move. Whatever, we didn't even get a shot off. But Andrew Ladd, he shoots and scores short side. So unless Nathan McKinnon can score here, we're going to lose this game against the Winnipeg Jets. And we do as Pavlik loves, this, loves it. And a much, much quicker shootout in this game as we lose to the Winnipeg Jets. Five uh, by a score of three to two as they come back in this game and win. So I don't know why it says you failed to meet your target like things. It's so weird. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand it. Like, there's no, like, there's no, like, things they want me to do. So I don't really understand, like, what it wants me to do. And why I'm getting, like, C's and B and, like, B minuses or, like, D minuses or something like that. It's pretty weird with, with the uh, analytics up right now. Oh, man, not this year at least. Not right now. I saw occasional flashes of brilliance, but not enough consistency. You need to do more time to improve into the type of player we want on the Colorado Avalanche roster. We're sticking you on the San Antonio Rampage roster for right now. Uh, so Peter Forsberg, even though coming back to the Colorado Avalanche, apparently does not show enough prowess to impress Patrick Waugh and Joe Sackick enough. And he is going to be sent down to the San Antonio Rampage where he will start the season off in the AHL. So that is where Forsberg is going to be stuck for right now, guys. That's unfortunate. So in that whole entire preseason, we got how many goals? We got three. No, we got two, 
three, maybe three goals, two assists, or four goals, two assists, something along those lines. Um, but that's how it's going to happen. We got six points in the preseason, which you think would be enough, but apparently not. Not enough consistency, apparently, from the uh, from Peter Forsberg enough. So, unfortunately, that is how it is going to play out. And uh, we have to try to improve our game. We have to try to improve our game. So, we're going to start the regular season off in the AHL with the San Antonio Rampage. And we'll see if we can eventually get ourselves to the AHL, guys. I mean, the NHL. So, leave a like, comment. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time as Peter Forsberg starts his career off in the AHL with the San Antonio Rampage.